Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at some more soul and Motown rhythm guitar stuff and this is part number four of the mini series and in this video we're going to look at licks based on sixths very Steve Cropper sounding if you're familiar with the film The Blues Brothers we're going to be creating licks similar to the Steve Cropper does in that movie stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it Then we're going to be doing some more soul and Motown rhythm licks But if you haven't done it already click like to like the video hit subscribe to subscribe to the channel and click that alert bell So you don't miss any updates if you'd like a PDF of everything I'm going to talk about in this lesson You'll see a link below in the description to a free workbook So make sure you grab that right then. Let's get stuck in again. This video is going to be based in the key of A I'm going to start off by learning a quick sixth pattern and then we're gonna look at some licks so whenever you play this chord that's an A major, but known as our E shape. If we take our middle finger on the G string, and then the highest note of the chord, this E string, and we take everything else out, we get that, okay? So we're gonna play the chord, and we're just gonna put our first finger where the bar was on the fifth fret on the high E. So we're stripping everything else away, and we're just gonna get that. And that is known as a sixth interval okay again i'm not going to go into why that is that will be for another video this is just showing you some licks okay so that's a nice easy one to visualize you just can see the chord and you can visualize that top part it's sort of like a diagonal shape looking from my middle finger on my index between the g and the high e now that is known as a sixth now the great news about this next part is we go up one fret but we're going to play both the seventh fret notes this time so they're still in the g and the e so we're gonna do that diagonal shape and then the seventh fret with both our fingers, or you can do it like this. I'm just gonna use that for now in the seventh fret, so. And we can move that then up two frets. Okay, and that's a nice little sixth pattern. Six on the G, five on the high E. Seven on the G, seven on the high E. Nine on the G, nine on the high E. But what I'm basically just thinking is, from that shape, I can do this. There's the top, again, sort of stemming it from my middle finger on my index. I've got a diagonal shape, up a fret, I've got a straight line, meaning both in the same fret. Up two frets, another straight line, and come back down. Very Steve Cropper-esque, these licks are gonna sound when we get into them. So there's our six. They're gonna be the three we're gonna use in this video. Now you can strum them, like this. Now if you're doing that, you just have to make sure you either catch the B string with the underside of your middle finger, or when you're doing these ones, you can use another finger. Because what you don't want to do is this. And have the open B string. So make sure your fingers are not too rounded. Flatten them off a bit, because normally that middle finger is going to catch the B string and mute it. Okay, or you can use hybrid picking if you like, is where you use a pick and a finger. So then I'm using my pick on the G string and my middle finger on the high E. Now that's very much using country and you can use these sort of things in country music as well. However, we're talking about Motown, so let's just stick to that. So here is lick number one. Okay, so I'm starting with that top one, both ninth fret, and rather than playing them as chords like this, we're just gonna pick the E string, the G string, move to the next one, E string and G string, and then both of them together. So we get nine on the high E, nine on the G, seven on the high E, seven on the G, and then strum them both together. Okay, so let me just play all of that. A bit faster. And I'm thinking this in eighth notes. I'm thinking one and two and three and four. And one and two and three, four. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And okay, so that will be lick number one. Lick number two is very, very similar. We're just going to slide into it. So we're going to slide this time from the seventh fret on the G, and we're going to do this. Just very, very similar. And there's that classic Motown soul thing with six. Okay, so we slide up to the ninth fret, then pluck the high E on the ninth fret. 
then plug seven on the G, seven on the high E. And this time we're going to do sixth on the G and the fifth on the high E, but we're going to play them separate. So rather than playing them as a chord, we're going to play. So the lick sounds like this. And again, I'm thinking eighth note. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And you can kind of let the notes all ring into each other. We don't want them to be too short like this. This sounds a bit more country with these Motown licks. We want them to kind of ring. They all sort of sound really, really nice and full. Okay, so there's a couple of licks there based on the same idea, really, really nice. And let's do another lick. Now this is gonna be the same kind of idea, we're just gonna go the other way. So rather than going from the top down to the bottom, we're gonna go from the bottom up to the top, so we could do this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do there then, let me just explain that one to you. I'm gonna play the sixth fret on the G, followed by the fifth on the high E. Then I'm playing the seven on the G, seven on the high E. I'm gonna pluck that seven on the G again, but I'm gonna slide up this time, straight away to the ninth fret, and then pluck nine on the high E. So let me just go through all that again, so. Six, five, seven, seven, pluck the seventh again, slide up, and then hold the chord, let the chord ring out. And again, I'm thinking eighth notes, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so there's three licks that you can play based on sixth, stemming from that shape. Now there's loads of others I know, but this just gives you an introduction into to this style. So what you can do generally in Motown, you can actually move that around your major chords as well. Often, if you are going to transfer sixth licks, you sometimes have to be careful to do the key signature. But normally in Motown, you can kind of get away with it a little bit using it on your four and five chords. What I mean by that is we could play the same kind of licks on our D chord as long as we go to this shape. And I'm doing the same thing. So there's my middle finger and I'm seeing my first one. I've got diagonal, upper fret, straight line, up two frets. So I could play all the same licks. I want to do them in E, same thing, I'm seeing the diagonal between this finger and the top there. Okay, let me put a backing track on and I'll just demonstrate how you can use some of those licks. Okay, so what I did there, then I just played the licks I've showed you in this video. I played them on every chord in each of the places. So if you got a bit confused with, by where I was kind of going with each of those chords, I'm basically just showing you that idea stemming from each of those chord shapes. It was far too much. I would never play that much on those many licks. If I was ever doing a Motown song, Motown recording, and a band, etc., that was just purely for demonstration purposes. In the next part of this video, I'm going to talk about how we can combine everything that we've done across all of the videos so far and make it sound really, really great and how you'd actually use it in a Motown song. Because basically what you use do with licks, rather than playing them in every chord, you'd maybe just choose one every eight bars or maybe one even 16 bars. So they're very sparse, okay? A lot of it is to do with the rhythm and the chord voicings I showed you earlier in this series. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, click like to like the video, hit subscribe to subscribe to the channel and click that alert bell so you don't miss any updates. If you'd like a PDF workbook with everything I've talked about in this video, you'll see a link below to a free PDF, so make sure you grab that. If you'd like some more content from myself, check out the other videos on my channel and also come and have a look at my online guitar school, Fretlix, www.fretlix.com. Hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you again soon.